Hitler has often protested that his plans for conquest do not extend across the Atlantic Ocean, but his submarines and radars prove otherwise. And so does the entire design of his new world order. For example, I have in my possession a secret map made in Germany by Hitler's government, by the planners of the new world order. It is a map of South America and a part of Central America as Hitler proposes to reorganize it. Today in this area, there are 14 separate countries but the geographical experts in Berlin have ruthlessly obliterated all existing boundary lines. They have divided South America into five vassal states, bringing the whole continent under their domination. And they have also so arranged it that the territory of one of these new puppet states includes the Republic of Panama and our great lifeline, the Panama Canal. That is his plan. It will never go into effect. By God, I was sent with a message to destroy the new world order and dispose of the wreckage. I've been broken and tested, reconstructed, invested, injected with truth. Now the truth has me restless, distressed and aggravated as I rally the masses. Out to make you see what I see when I wear my sunglasses. Watch me singing like a bee, but my name ain't Cash. When we confront the tyranny, give them 33 lashes of truth for the youth, for the red, white, and blue. Fuck the mark of the devil and the NAU. Bilderberg, CFR, keep your new world order. We'll live as free men or oh, we'll die as free soldiers It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance let me tell you something, when we're it's too late, you can kill people like me, you can shut us down, you can put us in prison, the people got to taste the truth, and there's nothing on earth you can do to stop this information warfare migration. It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the Matrix. Every crime is terrorism in the new America. Police are being given sweeping powers to arrest people for every offense, including dropping litter, failure to wear a seatbelt, fucking jaywalking, which I myself... If I was in New York, it'd be a different story, but I've been stopped for jaywalking out here twice. Uh, with nobody around or anything. The measures which come into force January 1st are the biggest expansion in decades of police powers to deprive people of their liberty. At present, officers can generally arrest people if they suspect some, if they suspect them of committing an offense which carries at least five years in prison. They will now have the discretion to detain someone if they suspect any offense, such as spitting on the fucking sidewalk. Yeah, they'll fucking arrest you for that now. I've even seen people arrested on video for farting. You know what the charge was? Assault on a police officer. You better fucking believe it, pal. The Civil Liberties Organization, Organization Liberty, said the change represented a fundamental shift in power from the public to the police and the state and was open to misuse. Uh, it pointed out powers to stop people under anti-terrorist legislation, which the public had been reassured would be applied correctly and sparingly, were wrongly used against an elderly heckler at the Labor Party conference in, in the autumn. There's also worries that the new arrest laws will create major problems for constables whose judgment on the necessity of an arrest is likely to be routinely challenged in the courts, particularly under human rights legislation. Officers will have to satisfy themselves of a person's involvement or suspected involvement or attempted involvement 
and the commission of a criminal offense, and that there are reasonable grounds for believing that the person's arrest is necessary. They will also have the power to take digital photographs of suspects on the street when they have been arrested, detained, or given a fixed penalty notice. The home office said the move would save time spent in taking suspects to a police station to be photographed, and that it would greatly reduce the ability of suspects. Oh, you mean they're fucking just now coming up with the idea to take fucking pictures of them right there on the spot? You're just now coming up with the idea that instead of bringing motherfuckers all the way to the police station, booking them, taking a picture, fingerprinting, all that bullshit, hey, why don't we do that right on the fucking spot? By golly, I got one. But many people fear that the move will create a vast database of photographs of innocent citizens which could be kept even if the police decide not to take any further action. The government says that existing legal framework on arrestable and non-arrestable offenses has become bewilderingly complex and needs to be simplified. Police chiefs have made clear that although they were concerned about the current system, they did not ask for all offenses to be arrestable. Liberty said that three years ago, the Home Office and Cabinet Office had advocated a definitive list of arrestable offenses and enhanced training, not a move towards all offenses being arrestable. Mark Oatman, the Liberal Democrat Home Affairs spokesman, said officers need firm guidance on how to use these new powers. Nobody wants to live in a society in which every offense results in people dragged down to the police station. Uh referred to the ejection at a labor conference refugee from Nazi Germany and a labor party member since 1948 and how a policeman citing the terrorism act detained him when he tried to get back into the hall. Uh, the powers need to be updated to reflect modern policing priorities and the changing nature of criminal activity. We need to maintain a crucial balance between the powers of the police and the individual's rights. The introduction of a single rationalized power of arrest simplifies arrest powers and requires the police officer to consider the necessity of the arrest. <clears throat> you are above the law. Could have fooled me. Somebody's lying. Neither these guys or these guys. I got a feeling it's these guys. Just a shot in the dark. America's government is hated by the world today. No shit. I wonder why. Just posted that, by the way. Lou Rockwell interview with Alex Jones. Posted that on Facebook. You might want to see these films by Alex Jones. Endgame. Fall of the Republic. I wasn't a big fan of State of Mind. I didn't really pay attention to it, actually. Uh, another one you might want to go see. Highly suggest. Police State for the Rise of FEMA. Another one highly suggested. Police State 2000. Okay. When will people get this? What about the ten fucking speeches given 
you know, fucking FDR, Kennedy, Eisenhower, Smedley Butler. This government has been overthrown. And folks, let's just face it. Under common law, under fucking anarchy, let's face it, the people of this country can do whatever the fuck they want, whenever the fuck they want, if they want it. Let's look at that harsh fucking fact of reality, military, and law enforcement. Please also keep in mind that there's over 300 million guns on the streets of America that belong to us. Good luck. God bless and carry on.